I'm having a really weird afternoon and evening. It's Saturday afternoon and in half an hour, 35 minutes, I'm going to have a psychic reading. It's like a psychic reading and massage and apparently her massages are amazing and you guys know I effed up my back a little while ago. And I was like, do I or don't I involve the psychic reading element? And I, uh, I am. I'm doing it. I've only ever had one and it made me so unhappy for like two weeks that I swore I'd never have another one. And now here I am, that was like seven years ago and I haven't had a psychic reading since. And I'm scared, I am, can you see how fidgety I am? Like, I don't, I just don't like knowing bad stuff. Do you know what I mean? And I think it is a bit, it does a bit become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So let's see, let's see, she comes highly recommended um, from Shelley and from my friend Isabella who's also had her and um, I, I have high hopes for her. If anything, I get an amazing massage. I don't know if I should say it, I just don't want to know the bad stuff but I kind of, I'm a bit curious. Do you believe in this kind of stuff? Do you not? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's see. I think also when you're going into someone's house, you can kind of like get a sense of them. So maybe a bit of that plays into it. Anyway, I'm... I'm on edge and I'm just kind of like waiting for her like spilking around my house like oh, okay let's go drink let's make a tea let's make a tea good morning from my favorite spot in the house let's get ready together because okay well I've been obsessing over this brushette and I beg beauty pie to send it to me and I really want to use it and so I want to do my makeup with this brush set today. Let me just show you. This is the luxury makeup brush collection from Beauty Buy. It's honestly the best brush set I think I've ever seen. It comes in this like gorgeous little velvet case. Oh, that's a nice zip. Do you hear that? Oh my gosh. It has every brush you'll ever need in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The membership basically pays for itself. It means you get all these discounts and you can use my code Amelia sent me. So let's, I'm just gonna like unwrap them all because this is, let me show you what it looks like once they're unwrapped. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. I am very, very picky with my brushes. People always ask me where my brushes are from. Oh my God, there's even like a mini fan. Let's do my makeup. I'm just gonna do a little bit of moisturizer first. This is the Beauty Pie Youth Bomb. Everyone <laughs> is talking about this moisturizer. I see it on my feed like at least once a day. Oh, this moisturizer is lovely. Oh, that's stunning. Okay, let's use my new brushes. I'm gonna use the Flawless Foundation Stippling Brush for my foundation. Oh. I just knew these brushes would be amazing. You know when you see something and your gut and your soul tells you, this is, yes, this is what I love in my life. A nice big fat stippling brush. <laughs> Ooh, this brush is so juicy. That is so good. I'm using my Super Luminous Under Eye Corrector from Beauty Pie, which I have loved so much. And my Precise Concealer Brush. This brush is exactly what I need in my life. I have a couple of brushes similar, but none that are at an angle. Can you see that this brush is kind of like at an angle, which is perfect. Because you want to you wanna get in there. I, well, I want to I wanna get in there. You might not need to get in there if you have more sleep than me, but... <sighs> I am literally blending in all my concealer with this nice, giant, bestie of a brush. <laughs> Wow, this brush is so good. Oh my gosh, I think this is one of the best foundation brushes I've ever used. Look at that. It just like blends in my whole face of concealer in like a second. Wow, any mums? If you're a mum, busy woman, you need this brush. I'm using the Pro Angled Blush Brush just to put some powder on my face. Okay, I wanna show you the bits and bobs that I use from Beauty Pie because there is a lot of stuff that goes on my face. Let's just blend out my eyeshadow with this brush, Effortless Eyeshadow Blending Brush. This is what I would say about their brushes is they're all really effortless. Like, look at that, it's just blending like a dream. Beauty Pie X Patty Dabroff Red Carpet Kit. So the Beauty Pie have loads of Christmas things on at the moment, like so many gorgeous things, like candles, like everything. And they are doing a lot of great kits. I want from this kit, this is what I want. I want this eyeshadow quad because look how pretty it is. Wait, hold on. Look at that, like that is pretty. This brush, this is, oh, this is an eyeshadow base brush. 
I'm actually using it for something different, but it's gorge. I'm using my little sculpting contour brush up in here. Oh, oh, that's good. Look. Yes, I would normally use this kind of brush for everything. Like this is my kind of brush. You guys see me use these, it's like a short bristle brush and it's like quite densely packed. But then I'm gonna use my fave Beauty Pie product, which is the Super Cheek Blush in Fresh Faced. Oh my gosh, I use this so much. So many people have bought this on my recommendation, which makes me so happy. These blushes are incredible. And you can use my code Amelia sent me. Look how pretty, like it just wakens up your whole face. I can't remember the day where I don't wear blush. Like, what was life pre-blush? Ah, oh, it ties my whole look together, mmm. Okay, but I really wanna use this highlighter. It's the Pro Glow Perfect Highlighting Stick from this Beauty Pie kit, one of their Christmas kits. Oh, is it a stick or is it a glass? Oh, oh, it's kinda like a lipstick texture, let's see. Oh, it's very balmy. I had to bring you closer for this. Look, can you see how amazing it is? I'm gonna blend out my nose contour with the Effortless Eyeshadow Brush. I feel like this kit, has every single brush you could ever want and they're so versatile. This is the Pro Angled Eyeliner Brush. Gonna take that down the center of my nose. So easy, like this is literally every single brush I could ever need, want and use in one kit. It's freaking awesome. Like the red carpet kit is great. Let me show you what else is in here. So you have an eyeliner crayon. We have, ooh, a velvet matte lipstick. Like, oh, we get a brush in here, a plo and blend sponge, smudge brush, a velvet mascara, the eyeshadow palette I used today, um, and the incredible highlighter, which I think I might like take with me out the kit. Oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do a bit of that and a bit of this. Go and check out Beauty Pie's Christmas offerings because you can get some amazing savings and you can also use my code Amelia sent me for money off. I would also recommend getting their candle. It's the candle I'm burning now, which is so glorious. Oh, I haven't done my lips. But this is the best Christmas candle I have smelt this year. It's like, it's literally just smells of Christmas. My makeup is done. Now time for hair. While I do my hair, I'm going to tell you about my psychic I had the other day and why I have been emotionally and mentally off the rails. Basically what this psychic told me was immediately, before I could even say, I did not want to hear anything negative, but before I could even say that, she said to me, oh, you're unlucky. She literally said to me straight off the bat, you're unlucky in love. And I was like, oh, I just got like a shudder down my spine. Let's do mermaid waves today. That will put me in a good mood. I just didn't know what to say after that, you know, like, she was like, you're lucky in so many things. You're just unlucky in love. And it really got to me. I think, like, can we just have a discussion in the comments? Does this kind of stuff, does it become a self-fulfilling prophecy for you? Like, this is why I, sh I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done it. I just feel like I shouldn't have done it. I don't know, do you know what I mean? So let's have a big debate in the comments. And please can everyone tell me things that psychics told them that never came true because I, literally burst into tears when she left i was so upset and then i went out and got absolutely obliterated drunk <laughs> and then i cried the next day and now i'm kind of over it now i'm kind of like okay life is what you make it come on amelia like think with your brain but like it does it does kind of like seep into your thoughts a little bit and you kind of think I, I don't know, like, does it become a self-fulfilling prophecy a bit? Is it gonna stay in the back of my mind, like, for a while? I don't know, I hope not. I am trying to make myself feel better this morning. Good makeup, dressing up, doing my hair, and get over that, like, I don't even wanna call it a negative experience because, like, I went into that knowing, like, something, like, you, I don't know, you know, you go into it knowing, thinking, like, okay, let's find, Let's find stuff out, but maybe it's not good. Maybe it's not good to find stuff. I don't know. Please share your psychic experiences in the comments. I'm curious if like you rely on psychics or if they've actually driven some of your life or like if things that psychics have said to you have never come true. I don't know, you know, just, just holler at me. Let's share because I've now shared my experience with you. I don't think I will do it again now for a, a very long time. Oh, the other thing she said was I'm gonna have three kids and it's gonna be with someone I haven't met yet. By the way, right now I have builders downstairs redoing my living room, which is that drilling you can hear in the background. You know what's funny about doing things like vlog Vember because this month I'm uploading on Wednesdays and on Sundays? 
<laughs> is that I feel like you guys see so much more. Like, this is the normal life stuff for me. This is me telling you that I had a mental breakdown on the weekend. <laughs> I got so drunk, drowned my sorrows in alcohol, and now we're having a good start to the week because I'm curling my hair and putting on makeup. It's a healing practice for some. Before, after, I feel like the mermaid waves are very much my vibe right now. Like, I, I love these. What do you think? I love them. I feel like they're so pretty. I'm venturing out into the cold world. Goodbye, Uggs. Hello, boots. I just got these boots because I kind of wanted boots that I could wear with leggings <laughs> for when I'm being really lazy. Ignore my little paintings because they're here whilst the living room is getting redone because I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. I've got a very simple Max Mara coat on. I have this new little H&M cashmere jumper on which is gorgeous and it has like a little purple detail at the bottom really pretty and some leggings and boots that's literally it i'm gonna go meet natasha for a quick cheese sandwich i've really wanted this cheese sandwich to try this cheese sandwich for ages <laughs> and i'm craving it today it's a cold day the body is some cheese toasty let's try this gluten-free bread is always, <laughs> always small. small you're right <laughs> i don't know why I can't tell you the last time I had cheese toasty. Out of 10. Oh, blue. Oh, oh, oh. Minus points for heat. Oh my god, what should I get? What should I get? What should I get? Oh my god, life changing cookie. Please, can I get a life changing cookie? We need some life changing energy. Do you want anything? <laughs> um, which one do you want? Um, is there like a chocolate one? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. I know you're very, very weirdly human. I just want a courgette. <laughs> Thank you. you. Better change my life, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> that audio is a TikTok, which you won't know because you're not Gen Z like me, but it is a TikTok. What do you mean? There's a TikTok audio called, you better change my life, you little shit. What and it's like when you buy movie? something that you think is going to change your life and you like talk to it, like you better change uh, my life. So that's what I'm doing with said cookie. Right, let's find you some food. Natasha is buying some shrooms. Yum. Oh. Oh, nice. This is so cute, this little hair clip stand. Is there something wrong with me that I want hair clips? They're so sweet. <laughs> oh my god, donut. I know these are meant for children, <laughs> but oh my god, it's a hair. Little bees. Why like, do I want hair clips? I don't even think that's all my hair. <gasps> oh my god, that's cute. cute. Rainbow. <gasps> Sometimes. Oh my god, this is so pretty. It has been the most miserable morning, I can't even begin to tell you. But finally the sun is out and my builders literally just rang me and said we're leaving, they're downstairs. I was like, okay, okay. So I want to go see what they've done, but I feel literally all kinds of festive thanks to this candle. Look how much I've burnt of it already. Can you see? It was at the top yesterday, <laughs> like two days ago. When did I get it? Literally two days ago. I'm obsessed. Oh, it's the best smelling candle ever. It's so good. I wish I actually had a spare one because I'm um, going to see Natasha today and I would give it to her. Let's go see what my bundles have accomplished. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we are. Well, so this has all been smooth. This was like super uneven and the architrave of my bookshelf was like going up and down and in and out. It was like a little roller coaster. So now this is entirely straight, which is great and even on both sides. Thank goodness. These had little ridges in them, but the old builders did them and they just were not pretty. They were really uneven, really messy, really badly made. So I just asked them to smooth it over. So now this is nice and smooth and neat. I just like everything being neat. And now you can see the wallpaper at the back much prettier and nicer, especially when this gets painted. They have patched over all my patches from all my different paints. Oh yeah, there was more here, more patches. I'm not loving not having a living room, so hopefully just a few more days because this is the state and it's just like, ugh. I do have to say, now tell me if you agree, but I think my makeup, particularly my skin, I haven't changed anything, I haven't used any different products, but particularly my skin looks way better than normal and it's all thanks to the Beauty Pie brush set. Like it is incredible. Like how flawless does my skin Look, and I use all the I'm using all the same stuff. If you actually haven't heard of Beauty Pie, I kind of assumed yesterday that you had, but if you haven't, it is a luxury beauty buyers club that is a membership subscription, 
and Amelia Sent Me will get you £10 off your annual membership. It gives you access to the world's best quality products at a way more affordable price. It's all the same labs, the same designers, the same developers as all the best products on the market, but they are direct to consumer, so they cut out all the middleman, all the middle faff, so they're able to get everything to you at a really affordable price. If you don't want to be a member, you can just buy products straight off the bat, like this brush set, for example, but you save so much money. If you're strategic and you buy one product, like this brush set, I know I keep banging on about it, but like this brush set or like the used bomb cream, your membership pays for itself, like you basically end up saving that money back from the product. So I'm obsessed with Beauty Pie. I'm gonna stop now because I love them so, so, so much. I'm gonna zip it now, I swear. Let me tell you about what I'm wearing today and where I'm going because Natasha told me about this, well, I'm keep clapping the day away, to, about this antiques market yesterday that I hadn't even heard about. Like, how is that possible? So I'm going there with her today and you guys know I love markets, I love antiques markets, I love homeware. She said she's looking for a lamp. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just, I'm just looking, I'm just here for a good time, not a long time, you know? So I've done a very simple, very, very simple ear stack today. So this is my little Raby stack. And then I have so many necklaces on. I've got this one from Adele, Van Cleef, um, Estee Daisy and Raimi Kaya. I just did a ring stacking video on TikTok and it's like gone viral. So I'm gonna show you also my ring stack because I have this one from Cartier, this one from Kimai, Nicole from Raimi, Jasmine. Jasmine is the best stacking ring of all time. So this is Jasmine and this is Jasmine and I literally pair Jasmine with everything like you need it Then I have Eliza another great stacking ring Ash to bring some color in my life Cartier and Remy. I'm so sad This is my last Nelly's bar from America My friend Tamara is coming back from New York in two weeks and I'm gonna ask her to bring some back for me because they're the best It's like I've saved it so long I feel like the chocolate's kind of gone gross, but I don't care Outfit of the day ready to go meet Natasha and go to this little antiques market plain black tank my favorite new warm snuggly puffer jacket that's literally like being in a dressing gown but better and i have my favorite theory jeans on and these new boots that i just got kind of a different outfit for me what do we think hi take your time where is it <laughs> i think i've located it yeah, yeah take your time i'm here i'm not going in without you i promise this place is amazing Oh my god, look at all these plates. I can't believe I've never been in here, but I'm whispering because it's very, very peaceful and quiet, but look how cool it is. It's just like floors and floors and floors. This shop seems to be closed, but it's a vintage luggage store. Like, look how incredible. Okay, I'm whispering because there's like no one here. Amazing. Like, these suitcases are insane. Wow, this is a vintage Christmas tree decoration stand. And it's incredible. This is like a little dolphin. This one here, little aubergines. Shrooms, mushrooms. How cool, like there are just so many different different types. I am going to get a dog. That's where my dog's missing. Mm. Just so love it. Sweet. This one is more you. It is more me. It's really cute. But this other one is, I, I just love the red. Natasha and I just bought four Christmas decorations in total. <laughs> I don't Vintage. even have a tree. I don't have a tree. <laughs> vintage Christmas tree. But that was the most incredible stand. She was like, I'm just gonna show you the stand of Christmas, vintage Christmas tree decorations. Are we going in here? Yeah. And I got suckered in, I got suckered in. And then he made a joke and he was like, this is an aubergine. And if you want to be really mean, you can give it to your ex-boyfriend. And I was like, I mean, I'm not going, aubergine. but it was like a mini aubergine. Tiny. I was like, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. sold. These are my little Christmas baubles of choice. This dog, cause it kind of looks like Duke who I miss. I'm gonna go see him tonight after dinner. And this aubergine for representation of all my ex-boyfriends. We meet again in this mirror with my little outfit of the night. I'm feeling a very all black vibe at the moment. So this is the outer look. Same boots. I'm actually wearing leggings. Don't judge me. But like when it's dark and nighttime, whatever, can you even tell that I'm wearing this big Max Mara coat, my Chanel bag, and actually this incredible round neck polo lily silk jumper, which covers, I feel like if you wear leggings, you have to have a kind of your ass covered, you know? Leggings and bums just don't really look that good exposed. I'm meeting Roxy at Dinings. We're going for a 6.30 p.m. dinner, which is literally my favorite time to have dinner, especially like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I've made Rox very happy because, oh, yeah, yeah I'll grab that, thank you. Because Dinings do these gluten-free, the crispy rice with salmon. Hello, little faces, little faces. I'm on the phone to Lauren, gonna take off my makeup using my Beauty Pie Plant-tastic cleansing balm. Look how much I've used, it's so good. 
Um, <laughs> I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> That's why I went silent. That's funny. Sorry, you might have heard a toilet flush in the meantime. <laughs> That's alright. Oh, well, Laurie's taking a piss. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, I always pee on the loo. On, I always pee on the phone. But if I'm with someone that, like, I'm not really, like, that, like, friendly with and I really need to pee, like, I won't call them back. I'll pee and then I won't flush. <laughs> Is that well, disgusting? I mute them. <laughs> so you mute them. I, and then I hold my but, key in while I answer the questions. So got really? Them. But if you yeah. if you mute them, then surely like if you unmute them and your toilet's like still flushing, it's like awkward. No, because I walk out the room. <laughs> Do you, you literally flush the loot and then leg it out the room? That's amazing. By the way, like, how has no one ever noticed that you put them on mute? Because that means you need to pee, flush, and run out the room whilst yeah, they're, all whilst they're not noticing. As well. You hold your pee in. So, like, if someone's talking, okay, <laughs> let's try this, okay? Like, imagine I'm peeing. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be like, so how was your day? Okay, so you'll ask them, like, a long question and then be like, right, mute, pee, then, like, flush, run. <laughs> <laughs> Mute, pee, flush, run. It's quite a good combo. Mute, pee, flush, run. That's really funny. My god, that kind oh is so good. I was just on the phone to my friend Lauren for an hour and a half. It was like one of those nights where we just spoke and spoke and spoke and then we just stayed on the phone for like half an hour, probably in silence, talking about nothing. Ooh, the camera just went really funny lighting. Oh, it's still adjusting. I had a very good couple of days, which I gave myself post psychic situation. And Lauren said to me tonight, she was like, stop looking for someone else to answer. And I was like, you're right. Like that is what a psychic does, I guess. Like that's why you would, that's why I would, was going to a psychic. I don't know. You tell me, why do you go to a psychic? Like, I think that's why I was doing it. And I think Lauren's right. Anyway, I drowned myself in alcohol. That didn't really work. So I drowned myself in friends and that worked. <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed and I will see you on Sunday with another vlog. Bye guys.